Hi and welcome to my playhouse and today we're gonna try and have a look at this HP it's a DL 380 generation 6 and I have had a lot of questions about how to mount a graphics card in that one and it's actually not that hard even though the HP server is not my favorite brand it's probably my second favorite brand well it's actually easier to install a graphics card in there than it is in many of the Lenovo servers. So let's uh, open it up and have a look at what we have inside. It has this system with both of the riser cards right here and there are some finger screws on the back that you have to release. So when that is done there is two levers here that you pull up oops and then this metal thing comes up and there is the riser cards um, these are available in different types so you can get different riser cards you can even very quickly exchange them out if you get one of the other ones it's um, it's just a card like that so very quick to um, to replace that with something else if if you want some with other PCI Express cards on it and if we just see over here it has two PCI Express X8 uh, slots but if we read down here they are really only X4s on the other side we have a PCI Express X16 which is really only an X8 so we have in the server we have two X8s and we have for X4s so um, well there is that mounted pretty cool um, one of the bad things about this is that the X16 is pretty weirdly located we are not able to use that um, for more than a one slot wide graphics card so if we have a tiny little graphics card like this, I'm sure that would be pretty, pretty possible. But the good thing is that both X16 slots are, have a full length PCI Express port on around the back. So we will try and put one in here. There is a plastic lever on the back here that you take out and that releases the PCI Express cover plate so we could here this is a half height card but it has a full height um, back part to it so we can kind of just pop that in right there there that would be good right and there would be no problem for that fitting down there so that's kind of awesome there's a lot of good space in here as long as you're not using these cards so let's try with something bigger I have one here that is definitely not gonna fit mm. but I am curious anyway and um, it's it's really only a one slot but oh that's not gonna cut it the <laughs> the cooler goes around the back that, that's not gonna happen okay too bad here would be another good option um, a longer card this is a also a one slot graphics card that would be able to go in here no problem this one has a power cable so we would need to uh, put some power into this thing and that's also one of the places where this HP server has been they have done some good thinking about that so if we get rid of this we can see that down here there is a 10 pin connector right there and that is good for some power to the graphics card um, I have some cables I have my secret stash of graphics card thinkies here and this is actually a 10 pin connector with a 8 pin connector that was not what I wanted so 
Um, these are available from HP. Uh, you could probably, I'll try and link to some down in the description if I can find any. But sometimes these can be very expensive, sometimes you are lucky and find them for next to nothing. So this is an 8 pin and this is the 10 pin. And this is nothing. The ones I have, they're very, very short, which is really irritating. So this would be right for this graphics card. I would be able to plop that in right there. We can actually do that. It's not a big deal. There, it's in. So now we have two six pin connectors. And as the graphics card is down here, it uses a six pin connector. So right now I would just need something to to make that longer. So we could play that this was an extender, it's not, but that would go in here in the graphics card and be able to um, to go over here. Uh, it does not, but we could play that. So now I would have a graphics card in this server and that would probably work just fine. So I think that would work great. Uh, it's a little bit hard to get this up again, so helps if I just remove a RAM block to be able to press the switch. Um, this cable has a lot of weird colors to it. Uh, it. Looks like they have done everything they could to make this difficult. But there was another cable with a tin pin connector in here that is also HP branded. And this makes it really simple. You can see that there's a lot of black wires and there is some yellow wires and that's at the end here they are all black and that is exactly the same as the usual 8 pin connector is uh, although there is only three yellow connections here there are four yellow connections here so it's like the cable just goes this way and on the HP there is just an extra couple of 12 volt and ground right there so it would more or less be possible just to to plop this 8 pin connector down there as well as long as you remember to put it in the right place I am not gonna recommend this I was just curious Okay, that doesn't fit very well, but it's, it might be something that someone should look into. Oh, they have, they have mixed the connections up. Which of these are a corner and which are... I think that I would be able to fix that, I'm pretty sure. Mm, okay, might be able to do something with that graphics card like this one which has well first it has two six pins connector is almost able to fit here I had this in I tried this out earlier and almost had it in but I would have had to cut off some of all of this metal thing uh, and also this this connector would um, be going into this piece of plastic here so um, it would be possible to to make this fit down there but this connector is probably not able to supply the 75 watts that a graphics card like this would really want would really like to have but it could probably work if it gets both of the connections it's not a big problem to fit some graphics card in here and um, how do you take that out? Okay, and I do believe that actually right now I have two. I have this tiny little one in here, which could be a bit bigger because it's over the power supplies. There's room for it, and I also have this one, which is one that I have modified. I have shortened the PCI Express lane here 
I did a video on that. I would not recommend you do this with a very expensive graphics card. This was a piece of, well, I'm not gonna say a piece of junk, but um, it wasn't, I wasn't gonna use it for anything else. So that would I be able to put in here as well. I hope, maybe, let's see. It uh, has the benefits of only having the connections. It only has connections on one lane, but in this case, it would actually be able to have connections in two lanes. So right now I have three graphics cards in this HP server. So that's not bad at all, is it? Probably this wouldn't work because um, it's only supplying maximum 25 watts here and this graphics card uses more than 25 watts and there is No plug whatsoever. So but I have had I have seen this work in a server in a Lenovo X3650 model 3 I put this in and I had it working So it might be an option in this server as well But running two extra graphics cards on a PCI slot that is not meant for it Well, you're just asking for that trouble aren't you? Well, this was just to give you an idea of what you can actually fit in this HP server, which is the model DL380 Generation 6. It has a lot of room for graphics cards. If it's able to run, I have no idea. And I'm not gonna test this out. You do that. If you have this model of server, it's definitely possible to put something in there. The difficult part is to get those cables or cramp down one of these see if that works um, I do not recommend this because I have no idea if that will work but but you could look into it if you're a regular subscriber here at my playhouse please hit the bell pinky up there or somewhere so that you can be notified of new videos and also live streams when I do those it's a lot more effective to uh, get the pop-up when there's a live stream also remember to give this video a like if you didn't think it sucked too much and thank you very much for watching my videos do subscribe to my channel so that you can see me again and have a really nice day bye bye